What's going on, Chicharon? This is Mikey Bustos. By now, most of the world knows that Filipinos know how to eat and that our cuisine is among the best in the world. Sus! Exponential knocks. But if you are invited to a Filipino party, there are a few details you should know. So today's tutorial will cover the unique and wonderful world of Filipino dining. Let's start with the basics. First thing to do before eating is pray. God is number one to us. Next, while eating, be sure to observe basic manners. Back straight. Bring the food to you, elbows off the table. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, Filipinos eat with a pork and a spoon. The pork in the left hand guides and packs the food neatly into the curb of the spoon. Tapos, mm, eat like that. Growing up, I thought that eating with pork and spoon was universal. But in grade 3, I was invited to my neighbor's house to eat. And as everyone started to chow down, I realized, Ay, where's my spoon? It was like half day. Mama. Excuse, Senor Patrici, dove è il cucchiaio? Michele, mangiamo solo con una forchetta e coltello. Eating that day was like eating with one hand. Eating with pork and spoon means I don't have to use my thumb, knife, or gravity. The only time I ever have to touch the food is if I decide to eat completely with my hands. Like my Lola taught me. And no, you don't just grab it like raging animal. It is graceful, truly like an art. And remember the three P's. Pack, pick, and push with the thumb. Yun. Also, I eat everything with rice. A Filipino household without a rice cooker is like Bruno without Mars. It's just the way we are. We are ricey boars. I eat rice with longanisa for breakfast. I eat rice with my sinigang for brunch, saved from a party three days ago. Even my dessert conchinta is made of rice. Rice and chicken adobo for baon. Then in the evening, surprise, surprise, rice again with whatever leftover I have. Rice is like staple. We even eat rice with western food. Try giving a Filipino a bucket of KFC chicken and ask him to eat just that. He will not. And if he does, watch his face. He will look like a puppy without bone. We simply need to eat rice with our meat. Bare necessity. In Philippines, they even serve rice with the McDonald combo, gee whiz. Because you cannot eat the main dish or ulam without rice and rice without ulam, I make sure the ratio of rice to ulam in every spoonful is so that there's nothing left in the end. Kanyan. Rice and ulam, mmm. <clears throat> finish at the same time. That way, there's no waste all the time. Speaking of waste, nako, I was at my friend Prank's house the other day for a delicious Cajun chicken dinner. Then, a few hours later, I caught Prank trying to throw away that leftover chicken. I almost have heart attack. Excuse me, Prank, what are you doing? What? I'm throwing it away. It's been sitting here for five hours, Mikey. And I told him, are you kidding me? Nako, in my house, food is left out all day for the picking. It is still good. Plus, you have aircon. In fact, this is will be good in the fridge there for a whole week. Oh, a week? Are you serious, man? Of course, Red Horse. You mean to tell me on the regular you throw like this away? The worms in your backyard must be happy. And at that, I took the chicken with me and had food for three days. No stomach ache. Speaking of stomach, when I was small, my Lolo used to subo me banana with all my meals. Michael... Always eat everything with banana. Why po, Lolo? Because look at me. I never have LBM. Hmm? Loose bowel movement. Mmm. When the meal is done, it is customary for the guests to offer to wash the dishes. Sometimes, there is a loving quarrel between host and guests. Okay. Oh yeah, just leave it there. No! Very I'll take fast. over from here. Leave I can it. do it. Oh, oh, look. So, leave so it. Stop. Already. Stop. We have this so over. This what? water. Wait, waste of water. Down. Just almost sit done. Down. Yes. Dikong. Ben, no. I, can... I said no. Do it. I can... Stop, Stop it. it. Let go. go. Sit. Let, let, let go. I can go. Relax. And have a seat. Oh boy, bok choy. So, the next time you are invited to a Filipino party, now you know what to expect besides great food. Prayer, manners and grace, rice, spoon, and helping hands to celebrate the one-of-a-kind spirit of Filipino dining. <laughs> so long, Majong. Michael, show to your ninang beautiful eyes. Let me be your boo. Kuya koi, kuya koi. Kuya koi, kuya koi, close open, close open, close open, close open.